VMDC General Viewing Operations. Run the VMDC application and log into the system. On the left side, the site list is shown with a list of all Vicanet and third-party devices, IP cameras, encoders, and or DVRs that can transmit live video. Selecting any device will then display the list of cameras available for viewing from that device. Make sure that the checkbox on the bottom of the screen labeled Display Selected Rectangle Video is checked to enable the spot window on the main GUI. There are two methods for selecting a camera for live viewing. Select any location on the monitor in the monitor display area. You will see that area highlighted with a pink frame after selection. Clicking on the camera name in the list will then start the video and display it in the designated location. Remember that the video will actually be displayed on the physical monitor represented by the icon. The video will also display in the video window on the application screen. The camera device and name is displayed above the video for your reference as well. Note. The video rectangle can be moved and resized to your specification. Note, to stop the display of the video rectangle window, simply press the X at the top right of the window or uncheck the selected rectangle video checkbox, which is located at the bottom of the screen. Repeat the process of selecting an area and then selecting the camera to display for as many cameras as you require. Remember that you can view several cameras on the same monitor. To change the number of cameras that can be displayed, First select the monitor and then press the display mode button at the bottom of the screen. Select the number of cameras you wish to view on this monitor from the list. If the area selected is already showing video, when the new camera is selected, the previous video will stop and the new camera's video will then be displayed. To stop a camera's display, simply select the rectangle on the monitor and then select it again from the list. This will cause the video from that camera to stop and the area on the screen will no longer display the video. Pressing the stop button at the bottom right of the screen will stop the specific live video camera that is currently selected and displaying in the video rectangle. Pressing the stop all button at the bottom right of the screen will stop all live video cameras currently being displayed by the specific VMDC on any monitor on its map. The second way of selecting a camera is by the drag and drop method. Select the camera you require to view and drag it onto the display area. The location where you drop the camera is where the video will display. Repeat the process of drag and drop by selecting more cameras for as many cameras as you require. If the area selected is already showing video when the new camera is dropped, the previous video will stop and the new camera's video will then be displayed. When selecting the device itself from the list and dragging it to the display area, all cameras connected to that device will automatically populate the screen. The video will appear starting at the location you dropped the item. All previously viewed video in that area will be stopped and the new cameras started. At the bottom right of the screen is the Viconet Mode button. Pressing this button will change the VMDC application screen to the Viconet application screen. You can now control your system with the Viconet application and view many cameras on your viewing screen. To go back to the VMDC screen, press the VMC Mode button at the bottom right of the screen. Selecting a camera that has already been turned onto a monitor will display that video on the video rectangle window. Every live or playback camera has the digital zoom feature using the scroll wheel on your mouse. The digital zoom will work on the spot window, not on the monitor icons. Select the camera's video you want to digitally zoom. The location of the mouse pointer will determine the position for the zoom. Then use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom. Roll up and you zoom in. Roll down and you zoom out. Click on the roller to go back to the original view. Digital zoom only occurs on your screen and does not affect the video recording or if someone else is viewing the same video.